Our China signaled it will continue with its assertive foreign policy, with officials reiterating that safeguarding the country's sovereignty, security and national interests are, quote, the sacred mission of its diplomacy. All this comes amid tensions with the U.S. over a range of issues from Taiwan to trade and human rights in Xinjiang and just ahead of a twice-a-decade Communist Party Congress opening in about two weeks' time. Liu Xiong with this report. In the face of growing international scrutiny and tensions with the West, Chinese officials were keen to reiterate that China will stand firm in defending its national interests. The news conference on China's diplomacy in the past decade comes just weeks before a key party congress, where President Xi Jinping is likely to get an unprecedented third term at the helm. Under his leadership, China has adopted a more assertive foreign policy, as he's called on diplomats to adopt a fighting spirit, leading to the rise of so-called wolf warrior diplomats who have staunchly defended Beijing's position. When asked if this would continue, the answer was clear. Gao 不怕鬼,不信邪,我们绝不会做事,国家利益受损。Mr Ma is touted as one of the potential candidates to take over from current Foreign Minister Wang Yi after an upcoming leadership reshuffle. Without naming the US or the West, Mr Ma said China was opposed to hegemony and bullying, adding that the international order should be based on international law and not rules formulated by a few countries. Also listing out areas like Taiwan, Hong Kong and Xinjiang as examples of where Beijing has successfully defended its interests, all points of tension with Washington. Mr Xi has not met his US counterpart Joe Biden in person since Mr Biden took office in January last year. Officials, however, sidestepped the question when CNA asked if Mr Xi intends to make more overseas trips and meet the US leader. Earlier this month, President Xi travelled to Central Asia for his first official overseas trip since the start of the pandemic. U.S. President Joe Biden has said he's sure he will meet President Xi if the Chinese leader were to attend the G20 summit in Bali in November. However, China has not provided any confirmation or indication of this so far, and officials at the news conference said that information will be provided when it's available by the foreign ministry. Instead, officials were keen to highlight President Xi's personal role in shaping China's foreign policy, praising how the Chinese leader had carried out fruitful head-of-state diplomacy. Xi Jinping Foreign的在国际上还广交朋友，亲自讲述中国故事，也展现了平易近人、以诚相待、重情上义的领袖风范，彰显了。this is Mr. Xi's position at the core of China's Communist Party is expected to be strengthened as delegates convene for the Party Congress opening on October 16th. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.